Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody just contacted me that has Corel 16. And they watched one of my videos about object to path. And they were really curious about it, how you did it if you didn't have X. Let me just get back to where I started. And if you do not have object to path, I believe object to path started in 2000 uh, or Corel 18. And it's pretty cool. Go to object, object, fit objects to path. Uh, you have to select your object first, then hold down the shift key and select your path. And with, I'm going to say 11, and you know, there's a couple of variables you can play in here. And voila, you've got it. So I'm going to back up here because I want to make a copy of this so we can show another way it can happen. But this is pretty cool to do things like this. So hold down the shift key and double select your, uh, your path. And then what I do like about object to path, it's not like a blend, but you have to take the path away. But if we take this and now go weld it, now you have a really interesting pattern um, that you could do anything. You could be in a circle. Uh, it's pretty unique because it's, these are touching because they're on the inside. These are open because they're on the outside. But if you do not have that, you can still do it in earlier versions. So now let's open up effects in the blend docker and let's grab that one and we'll control D and make a duplicate and just move that second one over and then grab both of them. We're going to blend them. Now this is a little bit different because I think in this, I haven't done this for a while. Uh, we needed 11, but this is making nine copies, which is going to give us 11. And then go down here to new path and put it on your path. And then go up here to blend on full path. Now it's not as good, but we can do other things. We can try blend and rotate objects. And so it did basically the same thing. It's just not quite as good because these, these are just barely touching where you can see mine when they go up here, uh, they're touching the object to path is a little bit better. But you can't really do as much. Well, this time we can add another one and we'll do it 10 times, which gives us 12 copies. Put it on our path, blend along full path, rotate. Now they're all touching, but they, they're still not, well, pretty close. Now with blend, you have to go and go to object and break the blend apart to get that line away. And then you still, this is still a group. So you need to select it all, right click and well, just go to object and ungroup them. And then you can weld them. Get the same thing. Let's take the smart fill tool and fill that in with green. So it's not exactly the same but it's pretty close. Matter of fact, it might be dead on. Uh, let's just see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So the object to path did, because I'm pretty sure I just did seven or nine. Um, so it counted for those other two. Anyway, I hope that answered their question, and thank you for watching.